Hi, my name is Sean Farrell, and welcome to the May 2022 edition of This Month at the Library. I'll be walking you through this month's events here at the Avalon Free Public Library and the Avalon History Centre, along with other area news and programs. And at the end, I'll highlight some of the new books and movies arriving at the library in May, so make sure to stick around for that. But first, in library news. The Avalon Historical Society's annual photo contest will begin accepting entries on May 16th. Entries can be dropped off or mailed to the History Center at 215 39th Street, Avalon, New Jersey, 08202, and must be received no later than May 31st. Judging will be held the first week of June. Head to avalonfreelibrary.org slash AHC for entry forms and further information. Craig Rothman, MD's Good Time Diet series continues on May 5th at 10 a.m. in the library. He will be lecturing on the Good Time Diet, a weight loss program he developed to achieve success without the use of drugs or specialty foods. The May Art House film will be Mass, starring Jason Isaacs, Martha Plimpton, Ann Dowd, and Reed Burney as two couples who come together to work through the aftermath of a violent tragedy. The showing will begin on May 9th at 5 p.m. On May 10th at 5 p.m., Kathy Zane will guide users through using Google's Free Docs Productivity Suite, touching on creating and editing documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. On May 12th at 10 a.m., I will be offering the latest version of our popular Intro to Streaming TV program. I will walk attendees through the different devices and services that are available to choose from, including some that can take the place of a traditional cable TV package. The History Center will be hosting a very special presentation on May 12th at 5 p.m. in the Avalon Elementary School Gym. An evening with Maud Dom will include a lecture and screening of The Hidden Child, a documentary that details Ms. Dom's story of courage, hope, and bravery in the face of evil and death. Born in the Netherlands, Maud Dom was one of the Dutch hidden children. She survived the Holocaust and came to the United States at the age of 14. Ms. Dom serves on the New Jersey Commission on Holocaust Education and served on the State Board of Education from 1983 through 2007, including five years as its president. A Holocaust Commission Award is named in her honor, and she now devotes her time to Holocaust and genocide education and guiding groups to Holocaust sites. Then, on May 14th at 1 p.m., the History Center will present Dress to Kill with Dana Bala. From arsenic in clothing, blazing crinolines, and lead in cosmetics, throughout history, we have worn deadly clothing and makeup to be the height of fashion. Dana Bala will discuss some of the most lethal fashion practices in history, focusing on the Victorian and Edwardian periods when people were dressed to kill. Ed Dean, Fire Chief and Floodplain Administrator, will speak about a new floodplain management ordinance and the Community Rating System Cycle, which is where the flood insurance rate discount comes from on Saturday, May 21st at 3 p.m. A Q&A will follow his talk. And lastly, on May 28th at 10 a.m., it's back. Kick off the unofficial first weekend of summer with the return of Book Bingo. Kids, join us for a few rounds of bingo and the chance to win some great books or other prizes. A 35-foot sailboat ran aground on the night of April 13th. While the owner was asleep, the vessel became unmoored and drifted ashore, where it remained throughout much of the day on April 14th. The owner was safely removed by the Avalon Police Department shortly after the incident occurred, and, having suffered severe damage to the hull, the boat was removed via land by Seato Cape May and North Star Marine. Avalon Borough Council approved a memorandum of understanding with the town's trash and recycling service that will allow the community to continue receiving twice-weekly pickup during the summer months, but with the elimination of side yard container return. This is in response to Gold Medal Environmental's increased labor and fuel costs. A new bid to provide this service will be put out over the summer and could potentially see side yard container return reinstated. The Borough of Avalon has also participated in a pre-application meeting regarding a possible 10-year borough-wide dredging permit. If the plan moves forward, it would be the first of its kind in the state and would simplify the process of getting dredging approval for Avalon residents. Under the proposal, property owners would apply for a municipal permit with the borough instead of navigating the process that currently involves a variety of federal and state agencies. It would also open up several possible innovative uses of the dredged material for environmental enhancement and resiliency purposes. The Avalon Garden Club's annual plant and bake sale will take place Saturday, April 30th from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. and Sunday, May 1st from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Come and pick out some plants that will make you the envy of the neighborhood and maybe grab something sweet while you're there. May 7th sees tons of activities throughout Avalon. The Garden Club is sponsoring Avalon's annual town-wide yard sale from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. in which homes all over town will be offering up great deals on items they no longer need. A list of participating addresses will be available on avalongardenclub.org or in the yellow box in front of Community Hall. 
The Avalon Fire Department will also be hosting their plant sale from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Avalon Paper Shredding Day will also be taking place at Avalon Public Works from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And also at Public Works, the Avalon Police Department bike auction will begin at 12 p.m. The Chamber of Commerce job fair will be happening from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Interested parties can go to visit avalonnj.com slash job dash offers for a list of participating businesses. And the Avalon Home and Landowners Association will be hosting an open house at 10 a.m. at the 39th Street Tennis Center, where visitors can meet the members of ALOA and hear from Bill McCormick of Avalon Public Works. Friday, May 20th through Sunday, May 22nd, sees Avalon hosting an open pickleball tournament at the 8th Street Recreation Complex, just two blocks from the beach. More information and sign-ups are available at pickleballtournaments.com slash tournamentinfo.pl question mark TID equal sign 5930. Cash prizes will be awarded based on the number of sign-ups. Hurricane and Kids is an organization that works with pediatric cancer patients and their families to find community and support, and they will be hosting their second annual Kids Charity Golf Tournament on Friday, May 20th at 12 p.m. at the Avalon Golf and Country Club. The event will begin with registration and lunch, followed by a shotgun start at 1 p.m. You can find out more about this great organization at hurricaneandskids.com. On Saturday, May 21st, from 9.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., the Wetlands Institute will hold their ninth annual Spring Shorebird and Horseshoe Crab Festival. Visitors will enjoy lots of hands-on activities focused on conservation, like shorebird viewings, horseshoe crab workshops, horseshoe crab spawning survey demos, guided walks, back bay tours, and more. Visit wetlandsinstitute.org for more information about the festival and the organization. The Helen L. Diller Vacation Home for Blind Children will host a community open house in honor of their 50th camp season on May 28th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. As a thank you to the community for their continued support they have received, the celebration will include a hot, include a hot dog cookout, tours of the home, live music, and entertainment for the kids. There are a lot of great books coming to the library in May, like these. Book Lovers is the latest by Emily Henry, author of the bestsellers Beach Read and People We Meet on Vacation. In this book, she introduces us to literary agent Nora Stevens, who keeps running into editor Charlie Lastra, whom she is less than fond of while on a vacation from the city. Hernan Diaz's highly anticipated trust follows the powerful Rask family in 1920s New York, whose immense fortune is the subject of much speculation and the focus of a 1937 novel. In the present day, a woman tries to figure out what is true and what is fiction, and get to the bottom of the source of their money. Beloved author Jennifer Weiner returns with The Summer Place, which sees the members of the Danhauser family coming together for a big wedding on Cape Cod, where more than a few long, simmering issues will rise to the surface. In the Island by Adrian McKinty, a family on a vacation to the country find their lives endangered after a tragic accident in a remote community. Award-winning author and ex-Marine Phil Clay examines the effects of two decades of combat in uncertain ground, citizenship in an age of endless, invisible war. Some of the movies coming to DVD in May include Tom Holland is a young Nathan Drake in Uncharted, based on the hit Sony video game series. This origin story sees him recruited to help recover Magellan's lost fortune. In Dog, Channing Tatum plays an army ranger who is tasked with getting a Belgian Malinois named Lulu to a fellow soldier's funeral. Writer and director Jim Cummings also stars in The Beta Test as a Hollywood agent who finds himself trapped in a web of lies, infidelities, and digital data after receiving a mysterious invitation. Acclaimed director Paul Thomas Anderson returns with Licorice Pizza, about a pair of young people who find themselves drawn to each other as they grow up in 1970s California. In Infinite, a man discovers that his hallucinations are actually memories of his past lives. The latest version of The Batman sees Robert Pattinson take on the iconic role as he is tasked with finding the villainous Riddler. That's it for this month. Have a happy May, and I'll see you in the library.